Hello and welcome back to the Healthy Recipe Series with Valley White Health Systems. We've designed this video series to help inspire you to cook healthy, delicious meals that will satisfy your whole family. We're excited to be bringing this recipe to you today. We know that sometimes it's hard to get kids to eat their vegetables right. Well, we hope that this recipe for veggie nuggets will change that a little bit. These nuggets look just like chicken nuggets, so they're fun to eat and easy for tiny hands to grab and dip, but they're completely vegetarian. This recipe includes both broccoli and carrots, so it provides quite a bit of fiber, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, and even some plant-based protein. One of the things that makes cooking easier is when we prepare all of our ingredients before we start cooking. That way, one part of your meal isn't getting overcooked while you prepare something else. So we've also put together two eggs, one clove of garlic, and I use the pre-chopped store kind. We also have one and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, which I have divided into two separate bowls. We also have three quarters of a cup of mild shredded cheddar cheese and half a teaspoon of onion powder and another half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now this recipe calls for us to shred carrots and chop broccoli into pieces, but we save some time by buying pre-shredded carrots and pre-chopped broccoli. Buying pre-prepared vegetables will save you quite a bit of time. However, it can sometimes increase the cost, so make the choice that's right for you. Now this next step I did off camera, but basically what I did is I steamed the broccoli in the microwave for about two and a half minutes. And I did this just by putting a little bit of water in the bottom and then covering it with a paper towel and then putting it in the microwave. And now that I have strained the water out of the broccoli, I'm just gonna pour it onto this paper plate with some paper towels to let it drain because if this recipe is too has too much moisture in it, the nuggets won't fry crisply, so. While the broccoli is draining, I'm gonna be combining the rest of the ingredients into a food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor at home, you can use a blender or a bullet blender such as this one, or you could even use a hand-cranked, non-electric food processor if you have one. After we combine everything, we're gonna pulse it in here for about 15 seconds or until all of the ingredients are combined and we'll form a little ball. All right, now that we have this nice smooth mixture, we're gonna go ahead and form these into little balls. You could use an ice cream scoop or a cookie scoop to help get consistently sized ones, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spoon. Now we're going to press these into half-inch patties, coat them in the breadcrumbs, and lay them over here to be ready to cook. Now you might notice that my mixture is pretty sticky. I think that I probably didn't drain the broccoli as long as I should have, so these are sticking quite a bit to my hands. And because of that, what I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do is just plop the scoops of the mixture down into the breadcrumbs and then flatten them in this dish instead of trying to make them into nuggets first and then putting them in here. Heat the pan first without any oil in it. And once it's hot, and you'll be able to just kind of hover your hand over and be able to feel the, feel the residual heat on the palm of your hand. We're gonna go ahead and add our oil, heat it till it's shimmering, or until it sizzles when sprinkled with water droplets. And then we're gonna go ahead and arrange our nuggets in the skillet. So you may have to arrange your nuggets in the skillet in batches in case they don't fit. You want each one to have enough room to get brown without being too crowded.
Now once these are done, we're going to go ahead and serve them with honey mustard or ketchup or whatever your favorite dipping sauce is. We went and picked ranch. To keep this meal entirely vegetarian, you could serve this with by itself or with other vegetables. But if you wanted to, you could also serve these alongside real chicken nuggets to help your kid get used to them. Just depends on however your kid responds to vegetables.